Hey, I'm David Archuleta, and I create music. Welcome to the Playback Stage. My name is Josh Briggs. I'm from ASCAP. I'm here with, of course, David Archuleta. Uh, David was the runner-up on the seventh season of American Idol. His debut single, Crush, has sold more than two million digital copies. His third full-length album, The Other Side of Down, was released this past October. Uh, I just want to say thanks so much for coming out to the Expo. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's great to be able to come. Are you having a good time? I am. This is, this is my first time getting to come, and I just, I just came out, you know, a bunch of the, just a few of the ASCAP staff, and they're great people, and they invited me to come out and just see, see what this experience is like, and it's, it's just really neat getting to see uh, some of the writers I've actually worked with um, on some of my own projects, just give, um, give seminars and, and uh, see their insight. Um, just going into depth on the more basic uh, and more on those fundamental things in writing and stuff so, and yeah. business. It's cool. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, well, let's let's talk about uh, like collaboration for a second. Because you had uh, you collaborated with some really great people on on your last record. Uh, Matt Squire, Sam Hollander, Dave Katz, Claude Kelly, Lindy Robbins, E Man, David Hodges. What was that experience like working on all those people? Uh, it was really great. I, I learned a lot. You know, what's fun with American Idol, they just kind of push you. And, uh, you know, you go from just, you know, I like singing and stuff, and then, and then just all of a sudden just being drenched in the business and the industry, and just all these writers. And it's, I, I'm a very self conscious person, so it's kind of, it's kind of like, whoa. Just uh, going into this, these rooms and starting to work with these amazing writers who work with so many different artists that you look up to, and uh, it was it was a lot for me to take in, but I learned a lot. And uh, but now I'm just kind of taking a step back and starting to write by myself again, and just trying to say, okay, this is more my style, and, and trying to find myself in my own voice without being influenced by. Uh, very intimidating people. <laughs> when you write by yourself, what's your process like? What do you... Uh... My, my process? I, I just kind of write uh, when I'm feeling something. I, I feel like uh, because the, the music business is very businessy, sure. I, sometimes if, it seems like people forget the reason why you're doing music in the first place. It's like, okay, why was I here in the first place? What did I love about music that wanted, made me want to do this? And so I'm just kind of, it's like, well, it's that love you have and how it makes other people feel and how you can just be so emotional and expressive with it. And so I just kind of base my writing on what I'm feeling and like, you know, it's like, I'm not very good with words. And so it's like, okay, I'm feeling this right now. How do I get that out? And so I just go to the piano and record it, listen back and say, okay, this is what I feel. And this is what I want to give to other people. You know, music is how I express myself and share with people. And, so that's just what I've been trying to figure out right now and say, okay, this is my voice, this is my sound that I want to give to people. That's great. That's great. Is, it, is, there, is there anybody out there that I, like, collaborator-wise, that you would want to work with that you never had a chance to? Is there, like, a dream uh, person uh, for you? You know, I think there, there's just so many people that would be really great to work with, um, both artists and songwriters and things, and I think... Uh, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, that's a big question. I mean, the biggest thing, really, honestly, I want to learn how I can work with myself, to be honest. That's the biggest thing. I just want to learn how to be able to be comfortable and confident with myself and be able to be with myself enough to continue working and maybe even eventually start working with other people, not for myself, but for them. And uh, writing for other artists and things. So, Definitely. That would be great. I, what's your favorite part about the writing process? Yeah. Um, what I love writing, I, I love it when it's real, and, and it's honest, and uh, when you're doing something that you know will really be able to affect other people, and uh, make an impact on them, allow them to uh, look at something differently, or influence them the way they think, or the way they feel. Uh, I love how music can do that. And, so that's, that's the coolest thing about it, is being able to express an idea that can influence someone else. You've done a lot of really good things in the world to, uh, you know, also to help influence other people, even in kind of, uh, in uh, philanthropic ways, in everything from disaster relief and, uh, you know, to helping uh, 
to homeless teenagers to uh, be part of the uh, part of the uh, Somos Unido, uh, the, the, for the Haitian earthquake. What, um, how do you choose the those things that you become those philanthropic organizations that become involved with those causes? Um, I guess I guess it's hard for me to just <laughs> I'm bad at just picking one thing and I. You know, when my heart goes out to something, I just can't help but try to see how I can help with it. And I know it's good to uh, be selective about what you're involved in, because if you're involved in too many things, people kind of stop listening to you or don't take you seriously. But, you know, sometimes it's just like, you know what, if your heart just kind of goes before your head, and you just say, you know, I want to help however I can. And, um, I just, uh, I love being able to help, help other people. And so, if there's something like, uh, Especially you know, recently, that's been an earthquake and tsunami and things like that. Uh, it's just when you when you see someone who needs help, you just see you okay. I'm not the greatest at. It's not like I'm a handy man or anything like that. But I, if I can help out in any way I can, which is probably the most helpful ways through music. That's like that's the gift I've been able to have to help other people. I see how I can help however I can with that, whether it's through having a voice, uh, not, not just singing, but like people hearing what you have to say or things like that. One last question. Do you have any advice for aspiring songwriters and performers that you'd want to pass on? Um, I would just say uh, to people who are aspiring to do music, just remember why you're, what inspired you to do this in the first place, what triggered that spark in you to say, I want to make music and stuff. I mean, you can get carried away a lot in the business side of things or what people are telling you. Uh, sometimes you can get a little desperate saying, okay, you know, I'm willing to do whatever it takes, but you just have to say, okay, this is what I, this is what made me want to do this in the first place. I'm going to stick to this and I'm going to do all I can in my power to go in this direction and um, influence and inspire people in this way or express myself in this way and I feel very strongly that you should stay with that uh, because the industry can take you in so many different ways and uh, try to make you become uh, something that's convenient for them uh, but I just say you know uh, don't listen to that and just uh, be what you are be what you want to become and you know think about okay this is how I want to make a difference in, in the world or with, with people and, and uh, just keep shooting for that and work and um, I think that's that's how you can make the greatest difference with your, your talents. That's great. Thanks so much for your time, David. We really appreciate having you here. Yeah. David Archuleta.